Okay, so um, we're looking at Sagittarius, uh, the second deacon. So um, you guys would have been born um, between December the 3rd and around about the 12th, okay? So your major influence um, uh, will come from both Jupiter and Mars, <laughs> okay? Um, these are the seasoned warrior Sagittarians, all right. Um, I'm going to do an intuitive split on both decks for you, okay? For Sagittarius, Deacon 2, please. All right. Okay, you guys, some of you may be involved with the Taurus. Uh, there's a man waiting on you, <laughs> okay? Saturn in Taurus. Uh, that came up for the first Deacon as well. Oh, wow. Two of Cups. This also came out for the first deacon. Um, so in relation to your love situation, um, uh, if you've invested in something or been working on something, you're going to you're going to see um, the results. OK, you're going to see some results that you were looking for. Yeah, there's going to be healing. Um, OK, so um, with the Taurus influence here. Oh, what's this? What on earth? I think I still think we're looking at Sagittarians that are involved with Aquarians here. Um, I don't know why these cards keep coming up for you guys. Anyway, my oh my! All right, let's get some numbers, okay? For the second beacon of Sagittarius. All right. Pisces, I'm seeing 12. Uh, I'm seeing Libra here. I'm seeing some karmic justice. Um, I'm seeing uh, the nine of wands. Okay, that's you. Okay. Um, wow, building, building, building. That's a 10. Yes, it is. Nice. Um, and a one on one side and a two on the other. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so we had um, hanged man energy, Pisces energy, karmic justice energy. We had a 10 and we had your nine, a two and a one. All right, let's get going. Break the tape. Okay, Sag Deacon 2, we're looking at the issue for you. Oh, this is part of it. Again. With the Aquarius. Look, uh, we'll just put that. So there could be, you may have been through some kind of an unethical battle. All right. I'm not seeing you as the one who walked away. I'm seeing you as the one who, who won this battle. No offense. Um, maybe it wasn't unethical. You just, you really want to win. You really want to win. What's the issue here for second Deacon Sag? There it is right there. Oh, this came up on the pre-shuffle for you guys. The High Priestess. So there is something, um, some majorly important information that you're keeping to yourself. This information, uh, just a moment. What of this information? What of this information? Okay, yeah. Um, it's about someone who's trapped in a relationship. Um, it's about someone who is trapped in a relationship. Um, what else? Right. Wow. So, um, you're going to get incoming communication about this. Um, there's Virgo energy here, Gemini energy, and Scorpio energy, Cancer energy. Um, is this incoming information coming towards Sag? It's about a Pisces or a Leo, okay, or a Cancer. All right. Um, 
or somebody who's kept you waiting in love or somebody who's kept you waiting in love of while you felt trapped this is not going to go on for much longer okay oh here we go yeah okay could be leo you're gonna have to uh, stay emotionally strong okay uh there's something about um using kindness to get somebody to surrender that's coming out right there okay so what's the challenge for second deacon sag it's there it flipped it flipped what is it <laughs> you challenge is you um no the challenge i believe is for you to understand that this can work, that these two forces combined can come together beautifully, even though somebody doesn't think that they can. What's crowning your reading, Sag 2? What's possible here? What's crowning Sag 2's reading? Nice, thank you. Wow. I'll tell you what's possible. One thing, I think you'll take this one thing. Four of Wands, Venus and Aries, stability, commitment. Um, huh? Not good? <laughs> okay. Is welcoming energy coming from this? Um, subconscious influences on this reading. Okay, this could very well relate to a Pisces or a Gemini, okay? Um, clarify. Subconscious influences, please clarify. Clarify. Okay, now I'm getting, uh, I'm getting Aquarius, Aries, and lots of fire, and Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Okay, so, yeah, I saw Capricorn all over the place, actually, because of the fours. Um... There's something, uh, you know, there's a mixture of different energies here. There's a possibility, okay, um, that in order for a relationship to come together, um, that there are going to be on one side that like there's going to be children that are not biologically um, the children of you and the significant other, okay? But this family is coming together beautifully. Um, We've got a lot of fire energy down there. We've got Capricorn energy, Sagittarius, and uh, and an angry night. <laughs> happened in the recent past. What happened in the recent past? This will make sense in a moment. That did. All right. Oh, yeah. So there's the earth energy. So in the recent past, um, there was a brand new, um, beautiful, uh, you know, it's an ace. It's the ace of pence. So um, it's not a page. It's an ace. It's the very beginning. It's the the possibility, the clean slate, the white hand um, of everything starting all over again with a pentacle, which is, a, and it's a giant pentacle. So that's in the past. That's really good. Okay. Now, what's coming up in the near future? Near future. Near future. Okay, there's Capricorn energy again. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, Capricorn expressing emotion. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've heard of that. Sag Deacon 2, your tools. Uh, if it's not Capricorn expressing love, it's someone who was going back and forth and back and forth on a decision who just wouldn't take a stand. This person is going to take a stand. Okay, they're going to express it. Uh, there's going to be like concrete results that you can see, okay? Um, Sag, is mo Sag 2 is the most effective tools to get to where they want to go. Most effective tools to get to where they want to go is to turn down everything. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, sorry. Correction. <clears throat> Not to be too... Not to turn something down in haste because you are emotional, okay? Um, uh, don't worry about the past now. Okay, wow. Yeah, so I believe you've left someone out in the cold in the past. This may have been an earth sign. Um, what of this tool, please? What of this effective tool? 
Yeah, okay. There's you, the King of Wands. There's Sagittarius. Wow. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay, in a nutshell, don't hang on to the past. Don't, uh, don't cut something out immediately or be too severe on someone because of past trickery, past 30 party situations, or because you got emotional. Um, the key um, to this tool, the key to uh, getting ahead in the future is not to make those hasty decisions um, because you're emotional, but to keep your emotions under control. All right. Um, outside forces affecting the situation for, for uh, Sag 2, please. Outside forces affecting the situation for Sag 2. Yeah, look, here you go. <clears throat> Maintain um, it. Someone, actually, this is not you because this is on the outside. Somebody is gonna <clears throat> gonna defend you. They're gonna maintain their position. Just look at Mars and Leo there. So Leo could very well be involved. Um, this person is going to maintain their position about you, for you. Um, what else of the outside forces? There's a very passionate stance being taken. It's not. It's a. It's so powerful. Uh, this is a, you know, win when it's six against one energy. Um, this is, uh, this is all over you. Yeah. Uh, there's someone who wants to come in, right? I believe it's a Capricorn. I'll tell you why. Look at this. So, so Sag Deacon 2, this could also be if, um, if you've been involved with a Capricorn, uh, who has been fighting you, okay, all this time. Um, I think that what's going to end up happening is they're actually going to finally come in in the in the in the way that uh, you wanted them to. Okay. Um, all right, Sag. I'm going to look at your hopes and or fears. I'm going to ask for the stronger energy, please. What is Sag looking to hope, uh, hoping to achieve or fearing? May I have the stronger energy, please? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I think what you're hoping to achieve is that you want to figure out who your soulmate is. Either that, um, or you want the other person to get it, you know, um, or simply um, you're trying to figure out how to produce a nice reunification, or you're waiting on a Pisces. Um, what's beautiful, though, is that I think you know this person is your soulmate, all right? If you don't know that, it, it, the light is just coming on in your head, literally. Okay. Shall we get the outcome, Sag 2? All right. So this has to flip. All right. What's the outcome for Sag Deacon 2? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome, please? Okay. So there's two that, that I don't think that was gravity. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so um, if, you, if your relationship has been choppy, it's going to improve. And it ends with this beautiful little offer being made um, with a fish in the cup. So I feel like it's going to surprise you. Um, Sag, um, I'm just looking at the Six of Cups, uh, the Ace of Pents. Um, there were some other, yeah, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, and I'm seeing the Page of Cups. That there's, there's not very many of you that this is going to apply to, but if you've been trying to get pregnant, you will. Okay, it's right there. Others of you, um, if this, there's Pisces energy all over this. It's looking beautiful between you and the Pisces. Um, if it's a Capricorn, I mean, the outcome is really good in the end, no matter what sign that it is. Okay. I am going to clarify the outcome with one card with an intuitive split. Intuitive split for Sag 2, please. All right, I don't know what this is. Oh, nice. It could very well be the Capricorn. That is Mars in Capricorn, where Capricorn organizes the fire energy. That's you. Beautiful, guys. Okay, enjoy.